Hello everyone, I hope you are well. Today I bring you a new video. What we will do today, will be to create a realistic horror game or map, as well as show you a little trick so that your video game that you are making looks better graphically illuminated, and at the same time more scary intrigue. So let's get started. And well, the first thing we'll do is get a texture kit. In my case I will use one of the toolbox to save time. Now we are going to create a part of black color, we will anchor it. After that we will change it to the desired size that we want to make the floor, this way. Now we will create a floor, in this case we will make it from wooden boards. Following the procedure that I am doing we are going to create it little by little. It should stay this way. Now we group it by selecting all the components and at the same time pressing the shift or control key, staying in this way. Very well, now we will create the roof, for this, I will use a slightly dark and at the same time somewhat damaged texture, so to speak. We will make it the same size as the floor, as well as taking into account the height of the floor, we will raise it to the size of the length that we are going to want, in my case I will not make it so big, since it will only be a small demonstration. After placing the roof, we will place the walls. If the textures are unaltered by the size of the part, what we will do is go to the properties of the texture and we will modify it so that it remains at the size of the part. We will do it this way, playing with the texture size numbers, until it is the ideal size. Now we will modify the size of the walls to our own liking. Little by little we will arm our room. Once this is done we will change the sky to a black one. And now what we will do is create some lights, since I am lazy and save time, I will take them out of the toolbox, although I do not recommend them very much since most of the time some objects that we take from here can generate a lot of lag, for what should be optimized, although almost nobody does it. We will change the illumination of the light, making this one have a little bit small area so that it looks a little darker and this one has a horror theme. Now we add some small particles to the light area, so that it looks like in real life, I don't know if anyone has noticed that in real life in the lighting you see small particles of dust or similar things. After that, we will add more lights, pressing the control keys plus the letter D, this way we just drag to the place you want to put your lights. I will add some pillars in the corners so this room doesn't look so square, this step is optional, so it's your decision if you want to add them or not. We will add small pieces of garbage on the floor so that the place looks somewhat messy, so to speak. Now we will create a metal grey part and place it in the corners so that the walls stand out a little more, these are small details that make big differences. Then we are going to add a detail to the wall so that it does not look too empty, this detail I will not make very detailed since most people when they play our games, they ignore them, although in any case it is what gives it life and personality to the place we do. Now we group it so that it does not consume many resources of your computer and at the same time not of lag. Very well done, from now on I will add various objects, such as chairs, tables, etc, things to make the room more full. As well as I will show you how to change the lighting according to the theme of the game, which as you already know is horror. In the near future I am thinking of making more tutorials like this, but it all depends on you, if you want to learn how to use Roblox Studio and create great video games, give this video a like if you are liking this video so far. Let's continue.
And well this would be the final result. I hope you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any content, I'm Radim, and see you next time.